Yo. I just switched to just chatting because I got some stuff to talk about real quick. Just stuff I want to rant about. Just real life shit. It's nothing bad or anything about like, I don't know, nothing about the internet. It's just like a little fucking real life tidbit that I'm like, really? I just want to talk about it and see if you guys have any, any experience with it because I don't know. Um, I appreciate you guys being here, stopping by, hanging out. Um, yeah, so basically, I just want to do a little, little fucking quick talk here. So, I want to specifically talk about something with about COVID. So, I've been struggling with uh, a sore throat. I've been struggling with a sore throat for like about a week now. So, and it's not like a, it's not like a normal so sore throat that I've been having, like I've ever had in my life. Like I have a sharp pain behind one of my tonsils, like my left tonsil. So I have two tonsils that are pretty large. Like I have naturally large tonsils, and I, I've been told to my doctor, like if they're not a pro problem, like we're gonna leave them. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I don't give a fuck. So. But right now I'm having a pain, a sharp pain sometimes when I speak or like when I shame my voice or if I try to sing or if I try to get loud. Um, I have a sharp pain in the back of my left tonsil. So it's been about a week now and it's not really getting any better. Um, sometimes it doesn't bother me, but then like if I start to strain my voice or sing or even have any type of infliction in my voice, it starts to hurt a little bit. So. I called the doctor today. I was like, you know what? I'm fucking over dealing with this pain in the back of my throat behind my one tonsil. I've tried to even like see if there's anything lodged back there. Like they're pretty big fucking tonsils too. So I tried to see if there's anything like lodged back there because that's happened sometimes before. And I'm like, all right, let me just see if I can get this the fuck out. And I literally had to stick my finger like all the way to the back of my throat and try to like see if there's anything back there. But I tried that, it didn't work. And uh, yeah, it's just, I'm still in fucking pain. So. I called my doctor today, this morning. That's why I'm late to stream because I was calling my doctor to make an appointment. So I call him, try to make an appointment. I was on hold for like fucking 15 minutes. I'm like, all right, whatever, man, come on. Like, just answer the fucking phone. Like, how much, how many callers can you be getting right now at fucking 8, 8, 10 or 8.05 in the morning? So they finally pick up out there waiting on wait for a little bit. And they're like, hey, can I help you? I was like, trying to get an appointment. I gotta go to the doctors. <laughs> uh, I have a sore throat. And they're like, okay, uh, let's get you signed up for my charge so for your telemedicine appointment. And I'm like, telemedicine? You wanna sign me up for a telemedicine? And I was like, is there any way you can have me come in for an appointment? And they're like, no, cause sore throat is one of the symptoms of COVID. And I'm like, I don't remember that one being on the list. <laughs> and I, I feel like there's so many on that list. I'm like, Okay. So anyway, so I was like, and I'm just really sketch about my a telemedicine appointment for my sore throat. Like, because the pain is specifically behind my fucking left tonsil. Yo, Devastate, thank you so much for that follow. Thank you for flying with Raven. I appreciate you. Um, because my pain is specifically behind my left tonsil, because the pain is direct. Oh my God, it's hard to hurt right now because the pain is directly behind my left tonsil, like how the fuck am I gonna aim my webcam to like get behind my tonsil? Like the reason why I wanted to go to the office so he can like get his fucking light shit and the fucking popsicle fucking diffuser shit, whatever the fuck it's called and get the fuck in my mouth and see what's, you know, what's going on back there. Like I can't fucking see myself. My wife refuses to fucking put her finger in my mouth. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I just need you to look. So I have a telemedicine appointment. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, you're not going to fucking see anything like through my webcam. What am I just going to talk to you about how I feel and like what pains I have? Like, what the fuck is that going to accomplish? Like, and like, what do you, okay. And like, and I'm trying to think of the, of the best case scenario. The best case scenario would be. Let me prescribe you an antibiotic. Like, I have fucking antibiotics here. Like, that's not what I... Like, I want you to look at what the fuck is going on. What if it's, like, fucking tonsillitis or some shit? Or, like, maybe what if it's something fucking worse? Like, how... How is telemedicine going to help me, really? You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know, man. Like, I get it. I get for the safety of people with COVID and trying to not to spread it. Like, I fucking get that. But, like, at one point, like, how does COVID prior, like, right now, like, honestly, it feels like COVID is a priority above all fucking other illnesses at this point. Granted, it's because they're trying to stop the spread and all that shit. I get it. I fucking get it. But this could be a, a serious fucking issue. I'm not saying it is, and I, I don't think it is, but it could be. And your 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 steps to help me through it is fucking a telemedicine where it's specifically behind my tonsil. Like, how the fuck am I going to get a webcam behind my fucking tonsil for you to look at what I need you to look at? So, I don't know. So... I guess my question is like, have you guys had any good experiences with telemedicine for specific illnesses that you guys have had? Like, like obviously this is super specific because my pain is literally behind my left fucking tonsil. Like that's super specific and there's no way, like I can't even see how good this telemedicine appointment is going to be. There's no way he's gonna be able to fucking see what's going on in my mouth through my fucking phone's webcam. Like there's no fucking way. And that's why I asked. I was like, is there any way I can come in? Because this is like, I have a specific sharp pain behind my left tonsil. Like there's, it's not like a regular sore throat. Like it's not red. My right tonsil is fine. I'm swallowing fine. It's literally when I speak sometimes have a little bit of infliction or a little bit of strain. Or if I'm yelling at the kids or raising my voice at them. Or if I even sing a little bit, it's fuck. I have a sharp ass fucking pain in my left tonsil. Like, so I don't know. Know, man so have you guys had any good experience with you know telemedicine because i'm super sketch and on top of that i'm like this this is the thing that kills me too i'm already super sketch about going to doctors for bullshit reasons one because obviously there's an appointment there's a copay okay but the copay for my insurance right now is cheap which is fine i can deal with that but it's the principle of them collecting fucking money off of your visit like that's most of the time i don't go to doctor follow-up visits because i'm feeling better if i'm feeling better i'm not giving you my extra like i'm not giving you cake money for something something you already fucking cured like i'll, I'll skip the follow-up i don't give a fuck like unless it actually warrants a follow-up then i'll go but for the most part i won't fucking go to follow-ups because i feel better like i'm not going to the fucking follow-up because it's just more money that i had to put out for a copay and then like you're just and then obviously like if you pay a copay like that's what you pay out of pocket but your insurance is paying the rest of the fucking shit so it's just like a money collector thing so i just that's just my ideology of about going to doctors and shit like i don't go if i don't fucking have to go so but the thing with telemedicine is like they're charging you <laughs> like you're gonna get, i'm gonna be charged the copay which again the copay is not a lot it doesn't bother me but imagine if my insurance was not as good as it like i have it now and i had to pay like co-insurance so co-insurance the insurance will pay a certain percentage and you have to pay a certain percentage until you meet a certain deductible okay fine so i the company most common insurances is 80 20. so basically the insurance company will pay 80 percent of the insurance uh, of the cost of the visit and then you have to pay 20 percent of the cost so say that the we'll just round it even say that the appointment the doctor charges 100 bucks for the fucking appointment the comp the insurance company will cover 80 dollars and you have to pay 20 dollars okay simple now if you got like specialists and shit like the percentage might change to the insurance that only pays 70 and you have to pay 30 and the appointment usually costs a couple hundred so then you're putting on more fucking money now <clears throat> in most cases when you do telemedicine appointments they're charging you the same fucking amount for telemedicine as if you were going to the fucking office that's where my fucking problem lays i now am having a telemedicine appointment and it's the principal because like i said my copay is not that much but it's the principal i am not paying full price for an appointment telemedicine for an issue that he's not able to fucking see and look what the fucking issue is because it's behind my fucking left tonsil it's not my fucking throat i'm swallowing fine my right tonsil is fine i seriously is literally just 
a pain and behind my left tonsil and i need someone to fucking look at it because no one else in my life will fucking look at it for me and i've tried to reach behind the tonsil and i can't fucking see anything or find anything so i need fucking help with that shit and telemedicine is not gonna fucking help so that's why i'm super sketch about it and i'm kind of pissed about it because i'm like dude like no you're not gonna be able to fucking see shit and it's the principle i now have to pay full price for a doctor's visit telemedicine version and you're not gonna be able to fucking do anything about it or see anything well that i need you to see for my specific fucking problem and i know some people be like oh go to urgent care like no fuck urgent care they every time i've gone out urgent care they're fucking useless so no and I'm then I'm not wasting my time going to the fucking ER for something stupid like this. Like, I don't feel like I'm dying. I just have a sharp pain and it bothers me, but I'm not fucking going to the ER for a sharp pain in my tonsil. Like once in a while, when I start to sing, like, they're going to be like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you here? So that's my rant, man. Like most times telemedicine, they charge you the same exact amount as if you went to the fucking doctor's appointment and it's the principal. Again, in my case, I have good insurance and I have a small copay and it's money out of pocket. It is what it is and I can deal with it. The principle of the fact is, imagine if it wasn't me. Imagine if it's, you know, someone on, uh, uh, that is working shitloads of hours and they have shitty ass insurance. They have this specific problem and now they have to do a telemedicine and pay fucking say fifty dollars for this fucking telemedicine which is the same price as if they were paid for their other doctor's appointment and then this telemedicine how good can this call be as a result like oh i can't see anything well no shit sherlock like that's why i wanted to fucking come into the off like i get it man the spread of covid want to stop it like i fucking get it but like this specific problem that I have, like, you can't fucking telemedicine this. Like, I need someone to fucking look at it. I'm so, it's starting to hurt now because I'm, I'm starting to get irritated and my voice is straining a little bit. So. Uh, they should still be able to see you in person because a tele is not going to help. And I tried. I tried talking to the lady, the scheduler. I was like, ma'am, I don't have a sore throat it's a pain behind my left tonsil like specifically my left tonsil like i don't have a sore throat you know like i'm not having trouble swallowing like none of that it's literally sometimes when i have infliction in my voice or i raise my voice a little bit or like i don't know i fucking sing or whatever it starts to fucking hurt a lot like i have a sharp fucking pain i don't know if there's something lodged in there or what like i need someone to look at it it's like no we're not seeing anyone i'm like I was like, okay, when's my fucking telemedicine appointment? Oh, I can schedule for today. I was like, okay, schedule it, put me on, sign me up for the fucking app. Like, let's fucking do it. I need someone to, I need something. I need to start somewhere because I need this fucking shit fixed. It may also be what Mastermind said, where they want to discuss symptoms and maybe send you for testing and bring you in after. I mean, if that's what I have to do to get my fucking throat looked at, then it is what it is. Like now I have to like go look for a testing site, see if I can get in there, fucking test me. They stick a fucking Q-tip up to my fucking brain i got tested for covid back in january because i was at the doctor's appointment they're like oh there's a virus going around let me check you and i was like all right sure he's like this is gonna suck i was like how bad he's like this is not gonna feel good and he fucking shows me this big ass q-tip i was like oh does that go in my throat he's like no this goes up your nose i was like the fuck you just say he's like yeah this goes up your nose i'm like how far he's like it's not gonna feel good He's like, it's gonna feel like I'm touching your brain. I'm like, I'm like what the fuck? <laughs> I don't wanna do that again. That fucking sucked. That test fucking blew. And no, I tested negative. I didn't have it. But it fucking sucked to get that test. And the fact that I have to get that, my, get that test done just to fucking see why I have a sharp pain behind my tonsil. I get it. Like I said, I get it. I'm not one of those like, oh, fuck COVID. I'm going to go lick everyone's face and fucking make out with everyone I see. Like, no, I'm not like that. I get it. The cautiousness. I have fucking asthma, so I can't fucking get COVID. I'll probably fucking die. So I get it. But at the same point i practice social distancing i do the whole fucking mask thing let me come into the office 
and just look behind my fucking tonsil. Just look. Just wear gloves, wear like a fucking long ass gloves if you have to. Wear a face mask and just take a little peek. Take a little peek and be like, oh yeah, you have a little piece of food in there. Like, or like, oh shit, you have like a fucking cyst in there. And I'll be like, what the, what the fuck? You, gonna, you, you were gonna find that with a fucking telemedicine webcam call? Like, so you now have to go like through a, a like a re like a pre appointment before you go to an appointment. Okay. I mean, if you have to get testing, I mean, it is what it is. Ultimately, I need to do what the fuck I need to do because I now stream full time. I need to be able to fucking talk. Like, it hurts to talk sometimes, like when I'm streaming, and I need to be able to fucking talk. So, I need to get this fixed. Like, I can't fucking. So, if I had to jump through fucking all the fucking hoops and get fucking tested and fucking suck some fucking, I don't know shit like i'll fucking do it because i need this fix i can't but at the same time my thing is the whole telemedicine appointment and like the cost of it it's just the principle it's just the principle of what telemedicine is and then being charged for a telemedicine appointment that's what bothers me and i'm gonna ask them too like they're not like i know it's irrelevant to me because i i just have that copay but i'm gonna ask them like is it does it cost the same for a telemedicine appointment rather than like a, a, an in-office appointment in either fucking way even if it was cheaper it is extra money they are getting on top of the regular fucking appointment when it does happen so normally you would go to the appointment they would go diagnose do a diagnosis prescribe you some medicine then you go home now there is a telemedicine appointment which they're going to collect money off of then you go to your appointment as long as you test a negative for covid insurance a uh, covid virus then you get your medicine like now there's an extra fucking step of money that they're collecting just for the fucking like the safety like okay so now for your safety we have to collect more money for you from you to ensure that you don't have covid covid all right, cool. COVID just fucking so much stuff up. And this is just one little aspect. Like, COVID fucks so much shit up. It really did. I gotta jump through hoops to fucking get my throat looked at. I'm gonna have to fucking do it. It's just the principle that I don't like. I have to fucking go through with it because I need this shit fixed. I'm going to go through with it. But does it mean just because I have to go through it, I'm gonna fucking like it. And I'm gonna voice my fucking opinion about what I like and don't like. I get the whole safety shit. I have no problem being social distance, wear masks, you know, taking precautions. I fucking get that. But the principle of charging the same amount for a telemedicine appointment versus a regular appointment when you can't see shit on the fucking webcam, he's not gonna be able to see my throat. When I look in my own throat and my wife looks at my own throat, she's like, you have big ton you have really big tonsils. I was like, that's I've been I've had that my entire life. That's not the issue. Like, do you see anything abnormal? And she's like, You have big tonsils. I'm like <laughs> Like I don't know if it's like a tactic to suck money away from people. Like, oh my god, I don't know. It just drives me up a fucking wall, man. Up a fucking wall. <clears throat> I tried gargling shit to see like if it was something that was lodged. Maybe I can loosen it up or get it out. I stuck my finger behind my fucking tonsil trying to see if I like have anything. Because I've had that sometimes. Like my tonsils are so big. Sometimes I will have food. Food gets stuck between like in between my tonsil and my mouth. So I have to like, you know, kind of put my finger in there. <clears throat> put my finger in in there mosquitoes and scoop out whatever the fucking food went in there because if not that shit starts to hurt and you get like tonsil stones that's what it's called if you, any leftover food on your tonsils and it calcifies and solidifies their tonsil stones and that shit is like a sore throat and it hurts but this doesn't feel like tonsil stone it's the principle that kind of bothers me a little bit and the fact that like this telemedicine appointment is essentially for me it feels like it's gonna be a complete waste of time now i may be wrong because the appointment didn't happen yet so this is just my initial reaction i i didn't have the telemedicine call yet so i don't know how beneficial or unbeneficial and a waste of time it's going to be i don't know i'm just kind of being skeptical about it and like just not feeling good about the fact that I have to pay full price for a doctor's appointment, for a telemedicine appointment, for a vetting process, for a specific pain in the back of my left tonsil. He's gonna tell you it costs more as they 
just had to set up infrastructure. And that there is the principle of the matter that really fucking grinds my gears. But you know what? What can I do? Like, I have to go through the fucking motion. Because it's bullshit that, like, that a telemedicine appointment should cost the same as a regular fucking doctor's appointment in the office. So, dude, they better not fucking tell me that it costs more. But it's the principle. Because I am the kind of person that I give a fuck when someone has shitty fucking insurance that has 80-20 or fucking 70-30 and they have to pay 30% or 20% of the fucking doctor's visit and you're gonna charge them full price because you're gonna talk to them on phone and see how they are and then go from there like I don't see anything let's get you tested and then come in for an appointment like I'd rather you just be like go get tested give me the result and then we'll schedule you fucking let's do that why make me waste my time on a fucking telemedicine appointment just tell me to go get tested so I can come to the office. Tell me those instructions. Don't fucking diddle me and take money away from the fucking people for a telemedicine for a pre-screening just so you can tell me go get tested so I can bring you in. Like, I know fucking people struggle with fucking money and like for me, it's not that big a deal because I have a copay, like I said. But other people struggling with money that don't have great fucking insurance? You know, like, you're fucking them, man. Like, come the fuck on, dude. Instead of being like, yo, uh, you know, w let's do this telemedicine. Let's find out what's going on. And then, uh, yeah, I can't see you until you get tested. So, you know, I'm going to have you get tested so I can actually bring you in and get a good look at you. Dude, fuck you. Just tell me where to go to get te fucking tested. And then I'll fucking come in for the appointment and fuck your telemedicine shit. I don't fucking need to hear it. This is the kind of shit that drives me fucking crazy, man. It's like these big fucking... Oh my god, I don't get into conspiracy shit. I really don't want to get into conspiracy shit. But these fucking companies, man. These fucking big-ass fucking companies or infrastructures or whatever the fuck you want to call them. These fucking... They just suck blood. Like, they suck the fucking money out of people that are struggling to even fucking have. And it's like, oh, but Raven, you know... Uh, a, 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 co a small copay is not that big a deal it's the fucking principle for me it's not a big deal but for fucking my next door neighbor that's struggling to pay their fucking bills it could be a big fucking deal for them and like i know it's not my dodger's fault it's my it's covid's fault okay fine but you can make the process a little bit easier or you can make it so you don't like maybe your fucking telemedicine appointment should be cheaper like significantly cheaper because all of your if the only thing you're doing is giving people instructions to go get tested so you can come into the office like why does that even have to be a fucking telemedicine appointment and like i said man it's not and i'm gonna repeat it because i don't like it's not me and it's not the fucking cost if i have to pay the copay that's fine it is what it is but i'm feeling for the people that are dealing with something similar that i'm dealing with but they don't have fucking good insurance so i'm feeling for those people let's have a telemedicine appointment okay so how much does a telemedicine appointment cost the same as a regular appointment okay they're making that shit on top of the regular fucking appointment that they're gonna make off you after you get fucking tested so they're fucking double dipping in this fucking bullshit in the time where everyone's struggling with money well most people are struggling with fucking money and are affected by covid you're gonna on top of that be like hey while you're fucking down let me fucking give you a little kick in the balls and take some more fucking money off you because I need to make money too. I get it. Like, services for doctors is not free. They go to school for eight years to become a doctor. They put in the fucking time. Like, I get it. I fucking get it. But during this time, shouldn't there be a little bit more fucking give? It's just the principle, man. Just taking money from people. Like, for me, I can fucking spot ten dollars and then i have to go to a doctor's appointment spot another ten dollars or whatever the fuck my copay is i'll fucking do it because i need to get better i don't fucking care but it's the people that struggle man like my parents don't have good fucking insurance so when they have to go and my grandparents don't have good fucking insurance so when they have to go to the fucking doctors they're fucking mm, 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 and they're getting fucking hit man uh healthcare in the u.s isn't about keeping people stuff it's about profits and that in itself is where my issue lays money for medicines that will cost 
twenty dollars to make and they fucking charge you a thousand like that's an over exaggeration but i'm sure that that there are cases in that kind of fucking spectrum for specific medicines that come out because the the, the objective is not to make you feel better and healthy because if that happens then how do the pharmacies get paid how do the doctors get paid if everyone's fucking healthy how do they make money in their profession? They make money off of you being fucking sick all the time. And this is not just the health field or the medical field. Like this is all fucking fields. How am I getting paid to fucking help you is the priority. And I get it. There's like trial and error of like with certain medicines and help you feel better, blah, blah, blah. I get it. I get it. But what about all the background money that's getting thrown out there that you as a consumer don't see it because your insurance is covering it or maybe you do see it because you're paying fucking 80 20 on all the fucking bullshit and then all the trial and errors now i'm not i'm not saying doctors and pharmaceutical companies make people sick on purpose like i'm not fucking going into that i'm not fucking saying that what i'm saying is when you look at it in a monetary way pharmaceutical companies and doctors make money when people are not well we gotta go through the bullshit like go through telemedicine appointments and then go get just to be told to go get tested for covid and then make an, another regular appointment when i could have just been told to go get the fucking tell the fucking covid testing and bypass the fucking telemedicine and go get my appointment done you would think the logical thing would be keep medicine medical costs down healthcare, universal health care uh to keep your citizens healthy working and paying taxes but nope no you know why because they fucking make money when people die too there's a death tax when you fucking die there's a fucking tax that's attached to it i just wanted to talk a little bit of real life it's some food for thought and like gas prices went down because why because the demand of gas went down because no one was driving and round and shit now that they're starting to fucking alleviate the fucking quarantine regulations and parameters where's gas prices been going fucking up this is just real life shit man this is just real life talk i had to stop using my cpap because my insurance changed and wouldn't cover the supply since it didn't pay for the cpap machine when i first got it dude that's not good man that's fucking cpap like fucking if anyone that doesn't know what cpap is cpap is like for people that struggle with um the fuck is it a sleep apnea and it allows airflow to go freely through your nose and your mouth so you can breathe correctly when you're fucking sleeping people have fucking died people have fucking died from sleep apnea your insurance changed slightly and doesn't cover the cost so now you have to return all the shit and now you gotta figure it out it's because they don't fucking think about the people they think about my fucking money oh our insurance policies have changed our coverages have changed we're gonna lose money on this now so now we have to fucking take it away from everyone asap so we reduce our losses they don't need any more money we fucking as a people need more money so we can fucking try to live this fucking life here because we get fucking nickel dime for any fucking thing they can think of thank you bulldog for the awesome fucking art anyway in conclusion of my rant i know i went super super long today on my rant i didn't want to go this long but in conclusion this is just the life we live sometimes we just gotta fucking dish out money for shit that it's to pay the fucking toll to the beast i got i go into these rants and i talk about this shit because this is just real life shit that i'm sure i guarantee that i'm not the only one going through i share my life with you guys i mean i fucking stream 40 hours a week or close to it sometimes people just need to talk this shit out because these are stresses and things that people go on about on a daily and i recognize that there's people that don't have people to talk to um and that's why i share my heart that's why i share my feelings that's why i share time with you guys to talk about this shit because this shit matters to me and it matters to other people hey what's going on youtube thank you so much for checking out the video today if you like the content what you saw today check me out at raven underscore 89 on twitch i stream monday through saturday i do morning sessions and night sessions and play a variety of different types of games such as magic the gathering arena uh overwatch call of duty warzone dead by daylight and much much more definitely check me out and also check out my twitter you can know when i go live and also anytime i post anything funny or crazy you can always check that information out too
Thank you guys for the support. Much Raven love. I'll catch y'all later. Peace out.